Welcome to this crochet turtle tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this chubby turtle. Let's get straight into it. So the materials that you will need are a 5mm crochet hook, a yarn needle, scissors, 12mm safety eyes. You will need yarn, one colour for the body and one colour for the shell. I'm using green and brown and I'm using Premier Parfait Chunky Yarn. And finally, you will also need stuffing. So we're going to begin by making the head. So you're gonna grab your yarn color for the body and we're gonna start by doing a magic ring. So I used the two chain method for the magic ring, but you can use whichever method you like. To do the two chain method, we're just going to do a slip knot. And then we will chain two. And then our single crochets for the first round will go into the first chain. So that will act as our magic ring. So to start off, we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring. Then for round two, we're going to do six increases. An increase is doing two single crochets into one stitch. I've just popped my stitch marker in. I'm using scrap yarn as my stitch marker. Now for round three, we're going to do single crochet and then an increase times by six, which will take us up to 18 stitches. For round four, we are going to do two single crochets and an increase times by six, which will take us up to 24 stitches. For round five, we will do three single crochets and an increase times by six. Now we are going to single crochet for three rounds. So from round six to eight, we are just going to single crochet all the way around three times.
For round nine, we are going to do three single crochets, then a decrease times by six, which will take us down to 24 stitches. For round 10, we are going to do two single crochets and a decrease times by six. For round 11, we are going to do single crochet decrease times by six. So I've just added the safety eyes. I've also added, added a little bit of stuffing so that's easy to see where to put the safety eyes. So we're going to put the safety eyes in between rounds eight and nine. So on either side, it'll look like this. So this is the spiral at the front. That'll be at the front of the turtle's head. And this is the eyes on either side. So they're pretty low down on either side. And we're just going to clip those in. So now for the final round, we're going to do six decreases. And we're just going to add some final stuffing. So now we need to leave a bit of a tail for sewing. And then we're just going to pull this through to finish off. And we're just going to sew the head shut. So to do that, we are just going to sew around the outside in and out of the front loops. So we'll go into the first front loop, out of the second front loop, and keep following that process. and then we just need to pull it shut. So now we can put the head to the side and move on to the shell and body. So now we're gonna grab our brown yarn because we're going to make the shell. So we're gonna start off by doing six single crochets into the magic ring with the brown yarn. For round two, we are going to do six increases, which will take us up to 12 stitches. For round three, we are going to do single crochet increase times by six, which will take us up to 18 stitches.
For round four, we are going to do two single crochets and an increase times by six. For round five, we are going to do three single crochets and an increase times by six. For round six, we're going to do four single crochets and an increase times by six. So now from round seven to nine, we are going to single crochet around. So we're going to be single crocheting for three rounds straight.
So for the next round, we're going to be working into the front loops only. So to find what the front loop is, you can see at the top of each stitch, we have two loops. So if you put your hook into the middle of both of those loops, you're going into the front loop only. If you put your hook from the top into the middle, you're going into the back loop only. So you should have a loop over the top and it should be the front loop when you do this round. So for this round, we're going to do front loops only, five single crochets and an increase times by six. And at the end of this round, we will switch to green. So on the very last stitch, we are just going to color change to green. And cut brown off. So now we're just gonna make sure we tuck the tails inside here. And for the following round, we're going to go into the back loops only. So you can see this sort of loop has formed here of the loops that were not used. So you can see all the little stitches there. So we're gonna be going into those little loops. So we're gonna do four single crochets and a decrease times by six into the back loops only. So now that we've gone to the back loops only, for the following rounds, we will just be going into both loops as normal. So for the next round, we're just gonna make sure that these two tails are still tucked inside as we go around. So the next stitch we go into will be the first green one that we did here. So for the next round, we'll be doing three single crochets and a decrease times by six, which will take us down to 24 stitches. So we'll just go into this first green stitch over here and then we'll continue around.
For the following round, we are going to do two single crochets and a decrease times by six. After this round, we'll begin adding stuffing. So at this point in time, we're just going to add a bit of stuffing. And then we'll add the rest of the stuffing after the next round. So for round 14, we're going to do single crochet decrease times by six. So now I'm going to add the rest of the stuffing. And now we're going to do our final round, which is six decreases. Once you've done that, we're just going to leave a small tail for sewing that shut. We're going to pull through to finish off and then we're going to grab our yarn needle. And once again to sew this shut, we're going to go in and out of the front loops around the circle. Now we're just gonna bring the tail through to the top of the shell. And then we will cut it off. So that is the shell complete. Thank you for completing part one of this tutorial. If you want to continue on to finish your turtle, then make sure to go check out part two in the link in the description.